Hello, my fellow crocheters. Today we are going to crochet Mr. Poopy Butthole's body and legs. For this crochet project, you're going to need your brown, light blue, dark blue, and yellow yarn, your crochet hook, and a crochet stopper. For those of you who are more advanced, I have the pattern posted in the description below, but for those of you who are still learning, um, let's go ahead and continue. So you're going to start with your brown yarn and you're going to form a slip knot. So to do a slip knot, you're going to form an X on your finger using the yarn and then you're going to put your thumb on there, flip it over, put your crochet hook underneath the first one, grab onto the second one using the hook and forming a little loop and then you're going to tighten your tail, which is the short one, and the working yarn, as seen here. You want to make sure that you have control over the yarn, so you want to hold your hand in a certain position. Go ahead and place your working yarn on your pinky, flip your palm over, put your pointer finger underneath of the working yarn, and then place your thumb and your middle finger um, on the loop close to your hook. For round one, we're going to chain five and then form a ring. So to chain, you're going to have your crochet hook point towards the yarn. You're going to grab onto that yarn, twist it towards your hand, and then pull it through the loop near your crochet hook. Keep in mind, the tighter you keep this yarn, the tighter the hole is going to be around the hook. So we're going to do this about uh, five times. To form a loop, you're going to stick your crochet hook into the first um, chain. And then you're going to form a slip knot. So to form a slip knot, you're essentially going to pull the working yarn through these two loops. So for round two, we're going to do five increases. To do an increase, you essentially do two single crochets into the same loop. Make sure that you're not crocheting where the yarn is coming out. So our first single crochet would go right here. So to do a single crochet, you place your hook into the first loop on the top, grab onto that working yarn pull it through that first loop. Then you're going to have two loops on your crochet hook and then you're going to pull the yarn through both of them like this. So that is one single crochet. So we're going to do that twice for an increase. Um, so we want to make sure we switch the color. So we're only going to do three rounds in brown and then we'll switch over to the yellow and I'll show you how to switch colors using our yarn. So let's go ahead and do single crochets around the ring about three times. And it could be a little tricky to keep track of where we are, so we're going to put our crochet stopper in there.
So we've completed three rounds in the brown yarn. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the yellow yarn. So to switch colors, you essentially have to grab that second yarn. So you grab that second yarn and you pull a piece of it through the loop that's on your crochet hook. So to do this, you're going to um, grab onto that working yarn using your hook and then pull it through like this and then you're going to tighten the working yarn to do your brown yarn and then we're going to grab on to the yellow working yarn put our fingers in the correct position and then you're going to crochet a single crochet using the yellow yarn into that first stitch. And then we're going to continue with the yellow yarn until it's all the way around the ring. So to kind of clean this up and make it easier to see, I'm going to cut the um, brown yarn. And um, what we'll do is when we finish the leg, we'll sew the extra pieces into the project. So let's go ahead and cut this so it's easier to see. But we're not going to cut it too short because um, that means we can't sew it into our project. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to trim the working yarn. So we're going to cut it. And then we're going to pull our tail through the loop on our hook to secure it. And then we're going to flip the leg inside out. So for your project, um, you're going to make a total of two legs. So this may take a little bit of time to do. Alright, so this is his leg completed, and I already made the second leg. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew them together. Alright, so what you'll do is you will attach a crochet needle onto one of the tails. And then you're going to tie them together by pushing the yarn through the stitches and tying a knot as seen below. All right, so that combines them together like this. So we'll go ahead and kind of tuck it into another stitch, make it a little bit more secure. And then we'll push it into the leg like this. So we'll tidy this up a little bit later. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do single crochets in yellow around 
the legs and I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to take your yarn and then your crochet hook and we'll start on this end, on this side of the leg. So you'll put your crochet hook into the stitch. So you want to make sure it's through the bottom loop and the top loop. And then you're going to take your yarn, hold it against the hook like this, and pull it through both of those loops. All right, and then you want to make sure that you um, put the working yarn back into your control. So make sure your fingers are in the correct position. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochets around the legs. So um, I'll demonstrate. All right, so that concludes round 19. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and tuck some of these extra strings into the legs. As seen, kind of get them out of the way, make them look a little bit nicer. All right, and then we're gonna do one more round of yellow and then we're going to switch to the dark blue. So again, we're going to just do single crochets on the top loops connecting the legs all the way around. All right, so that completes round 20. So we're gonna change the color of the yarn to dark blue to make his pants. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the dark blue yarn as seen here. You're gonna put the yarn onto the hook as it's in the uh, stitch. Pull the yarn through and tighten the yellow yarn. So what we'll do is we'll do a single crochet before we um, start trimming it so it's easier to see. So you want to make sure your hand is in the correct position for the working yarn. And then you're going to do a single crochet using the blue working yarn into your next stitch. So we're gonna put it through here. So you'll put your crochet hook through that stitch, grab onto that blue yarn, pull it through. You got two loops on your crochet hook and then you're gonna pull the working yarn through both. All right, so we'll do one more just to make sure everything's in good shape. Okay. All right, so we're gonna trim the working yarn for the yellow yarn and kind of leave that tail hanging there. And then I'll show you how to sew these in so they're not super noticeable. So what you'll do is you'll tie the leftover tail onto the crochet needle
I'm going to try to get as close to where it's coming out. So just sew it through there like this. And then just trim it so it's out of the way. So once we finish um, around, we'll um, tuck in the blue one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a single crochet and an increase using our blue yarn. So we already did a single crochet. Now we're going to increase. So remember to increase, you're just going to put two single crochets into the same stitch. And we're going to follow this pattern until it's all the way around our legs. So that concludes round 21. So what we're going to do is we're going to stuff the legs with stuffing before we get too far ahead of ourselves. So you want to use stuffing from either a pillow or you can buy it in the store and we're just going to gently put it into the leg. All right, so our legs are officially stuffed. So we're gonna continue crocheting with the dark blue yarn. So from round 22 to 30, so about eight rounds, we're just gonna do a single crochet all the way around our legs to make the pants part of our project. So we just finished round 30. So our pants should look a little bit like this. So we're going to switch to light blue to make up the shirt. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your light blue yarn. You're going to place it onto the crochet hook and then you're going to pull it through the loop with the dark blue yarn. Go ahead and pull gently onto the dark blue yarn to kind of tighten it. And then we're going to start with a single crochet into the next stitch. So to make this a little less crazy looking, we're gonna trim the blue yarn, disconnect that, and then we're gonna tuck the blue yarn into the pants, kind of get it out of the way, and then make sure your hand is in the correct position so that you have control of the light blue working yarn. So we're going to do a single crochet all the way around the pants, just like we've been doing. So this will help tighten it and then we'll continue around. So we're going to do single crochets around his pants for about 10 more rounds. So this will consist of round 30 through 40.
So we just finished round 40. So now for round 41, we're going to start decreasing our guy's little body. So before we begin, we need to go ahead and fill the body with some stuffing. Alright, and then our next round, round 41, is five single crochets and a decrease. So we'll crochet five into five stitches, five single crochets. And then we're going to do a decrease. So to do a decrease, you're going to put your crochet hook through the first stitch, pull the yarn through, you got two loops on your crochet hook. Then you're going to stick your crochet hook through the second stitch, pull the yarn through, you got three loops on your crochet hook. And then you're going to pull your yarn through all three of those loops. And what this does is it decreases the size of the ring where we've been doing our stitches. So for round 42, you're going to do four single crochets and a decrease. So next, for round 43, I believe, we're going to do three single crochets and a decrease. For round 44, we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. For round 45, we're going to do one single crochet and a decrease. So we're going to add a little bit more stuffing to make sure his body is full. And then for the rest of the rounds, we're going to essentially do decreasing in all the stitches until we close off the body. All right, 
right, so we're going to go ahead and seal the body. So we'll cut the working yarn off and pull the string through the both of these loops. So this concludes Mr. Poopy Butthole's body. And so what we're going to do is we are going to crochet his arms and head, and that will complete um, our creation. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to put some feedback down, I would greatly appreciate it to help improve my videos. And you guys have a great day.